हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर नरेंद्र वैद्य फ्रॉम लोकमान्य हॉस्पिटल पुणे पुणे इज अ सिटी जस्ट साउथ टू मुंबई इन इंडिया एंड नोन फॉर इट्स एजुकेशनल एंड मेडिकल सर्विसेस सो लोकमान्य हॉस्पिटल इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट चेन्स इन इंडिया व्हिच इज फोकस्ड ऑन हाई एंड ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्विसेस सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट वॉट वॉज लॉन्च फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन इंडिया एंड वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट इन द एशियन कंट्रीज द रोजा रोबोटिक सिस्टम so first let us see what is the joint replacement surgery joint replacement is a surgery in which we replace the degenerated cartilage which is beyond repair by medicines injections physiotherapy exercises all the other ways of non operative treatment when a patient reaches the third or fourth stage there are many many patients like that who require joint replacement surgery the most important aspect of joint replacement and the success there are two components number one is the infection control so you are seeing our operation theater one of the operation theaters in lokmanya hospital for special surgeries at lokmanya hospital pune where you can see that we have the highest standards of infection control where you see these modular operation theaters the hepa filters the positive airway pressure and all the systems which are internationally required for a safe and infection less joint replacement surgery a second important component is the precision of surgery If you see the global data then you will see the failures of replacement about 28% of patients who do not get the optimum results in replacement surgery are because of the wrong or offline or off the track placement of the implants so if we want to have accuracy then in my opinion what we should look at is the surgeon skills which are combined with the precision of a robot so let's see what is a robotic system so i have here a demonstration bone model where i am going to show how the robot works and how exactly we achieve the desired results what are the components of robotic system and how a surgeon actually performs a surgery without actually you know putting rods in the bone without cutting lot of bones or bit absolutely measurable releases of the soft tissues and ligaments so this is how this is a situation which we have mimicked in this particular video where we see the patient's leg these are all plastic bone models then we have a actual robotic arm here this arm moves and gives the surgeon a precise position where he should shape up the bones and the last and third most important is in front of us that is a infrared camera and there will be two screens where surgeon is able to visualize actually absolutely precisely what he or she is actually doing so i am going to what i uh, initially is required is to register the bone how because everybody's bone is different in shape size slope rotation everything so what we do is that actually feed the information entirely precisely about certain points of our thigh bone that is the femur and the tibia to the computer of the robot after that is done and that all the big trays earlier you used to have eight nine big trays of instruments these are all replaced with just three precision instruments so these are some handheld instruments which will be there and which we the surgeon will move on the bone and that will give the information to the robot there will be some sensors attached to it which will be registered with the camera and then the arm will move and give the surgeon a precise position so let's start doing it so this is one of the handheld instrument which will register various points on the bone and which will give all the information about that particular patient's anatomy the shapes of the bone and everything so as we all know that not everybody wears the same size and shape of shoes and they are comfortable with different size and shapes according to the size and shape of the feet the same is true about the bones also everybody's bone is actually different in size shape and so we actually feed all the particular information to the computer of the rosa and then we have to just move it on the surface of the bone so entire virtual three dimensional real time images are created one can register on the rosa or with the x rays also but this particular thing we are using as a image less so we go on actually registering these points once it is registered then we actually uh, see a beep or hear a beep also and at the same time the screen moves forward so it's not about only the bony landmarks the most important structure in the knee joint are the soft tissues and earlier we had no instrument to check the tension of the soft tissues 
Now here if you see the screen, as we take the uh, movements, then you it is showing some numbers which are showing the overall tightness and laxness of the medial and lateral collateral ligament. So it will register everybody's knee and how much actually stress every ligament can take. So here we can avoid releasing or cutting the ligaments to a great extent and preserve the soft tissues which gives a patient a natural feel, which gives a patient a good position sense that is called as proprioception. So the patients can start going on the steps very early, they can get up from the chair without any difficulty. So all these ligaments are absolutely well preserved. So now the next most important thing is that we balance this knee and uh, save these values on the computer and go further. So we are now prepared for the surgery. So these are the on the screen if you see the intended resection values in millimeters and you can see that we can still adjust the angles by 0.5 millimeters. You can see that I am just trying to adjust it as per the patient's need. So 0.5 millimeters angulation or resection can be done according to the deformity of the patient. So once it is done, then we can definitely immediately start um, going for the next uh, level and we can see that resection levels also absolutely perfectly and then we can start doing uh, actual bone shaping. So once this is done, we are absolutely ready for the next step where we move the, uh, move the computer further and we are now actually ready to register. So once again, we will be registering the robotic arm which is going to move. Now the stage is prepared for the shaping of the bone where this arm, the robotic arm which has got oriented to the shape size of the bone as well as the space around the knee joint will actually assume a position from where the surgeon will actually start shaping the bone. So now we are going to uh, start the shaping up of the bone and uh, we start once I press the keypad you can see that the robotic arm actually automatically moves through the space and without any further hindrance it will actually it will position itself to a certain degree and then just with a finger pressure surgeon places it around it. Now if even if the leg of the patient starts moving the robotic arm also actually will position itself with just a finger sort of pressure and it will now tell you on the screen you can see all the values which are there whatever was intended and planned that is absolutely ready for execution. So this was about the positioning of the robotic arm and this is how the actual uh, operation by the, and the role of the robot is being demonstrated here. After that it is just a very few steps are remaining in the operation where we will just shape up the bone and replace that shaping of the bone with particular implant which is suitable for the patient. So with that we can plan actually for a complete correction of the deformity with a physiological alignment, preservation of the soft tissues without putting huge rods inside the bone. So which relieves the absolutely post-operatively pain, the bleeding as well as the post-operative rehabilitation period also is completely restricted. So these instruments are very very important and this is the way to actually go forward in joint replacement surgery. And I believe that more and more centers across the globe are going to use this technology and give the patients desired results and feel of natural joint. Thank you very much.